Real talk, yeah. just rap pack, but besides that, yeah. nobody I trust. Back again like I never left. Young Sin, I said us to the death. We turned up till we go deaf. Hi guys, so today I'm talking about the costs between travelling to and actually getting in shows. So, a couple of weekends ago, I went to Castle Coombe, uh, which was the Pure Force 2021 show, and I also went to Players the same weekend. So it was Castle Coombe on the Saturday, Players on the Sunday. I was thinking it was called Pure Ford. So Pure Ford on the Saturday, players on the Sunday. So I, I want to basically explain all the costs behind traveling to these sort of shows. You have the booking of the shows themselves. So you buy tickets to go to Pure Ford, you buy tickets to go to players. Then you have the traveling there. Then you have obviously the food, the fuel. <laughs> you obviously have the fuel, the food. <laughs> um, and then because it's a two day, as in Saturday, Sunday show, it makes sense to book accommodation rather than drive all the way to Castlecombe drive all the way home, drive all the way to Players or Goodwood, and then drive all the way home. So obviously the booking of accommodation, everything like that. So in this video, I'm gonna describe and explain everything to, everything to do with the costs behind actually just going to car shows and all the behind the scenes that you don't really see or you don't really think about until you actually do it. So yeah, this will give you a quick rundown how much it costs to go to car shows. <laughs> So Pure Ford on the Saturday was a £35 ticket with a £2.49 booking fee. So that was £37.49. Uh, and players was £20 per person. So me and Jade went, so that was £40. Um, Pure Ford was a driver pays for the ticket. Three adults go free, you know, within the car, basically. So you basically pay for the car. So it was like £37 for the car and whoever's in the car goes free. Um, I think under 16s go free at both events. Maybe it was under 16s and under 12s, but yeah. So just for a ticket to go to both car shows, it was basically £40 each, but £37 and £40 for two people. So then you have the fuel to get to the car shows. So in total, from where I live in the southwest in Devon, to drive to Bristol Castle Coombe area was 140 miles. Then from from Castle Coombe. So then from Castle Coombe, to go all the way to our accommodation and then players, which was on the same route, it was another 130 miles. And then from players all the way back to Devon, it was 190 miles. So in total, roughly, it was 400, my dog just tripped me up. It was 440 miles to go to both car shows all the way home and to the accommodation, but it was en route, so that doesn't really count. But yeah, it was 440 miles to do both shows and come home and obviously get to them, which I did in the Focus because I went to Pure Fords and it was in the show, um, which cost me 65 pounds because I averaged 30 miles per gallon, which is probably quite a gen generic cost for people that go there. Most cars that are going to car shows aren't good on fuel, um, so most of them will have roughly that sort of cost. So most of them are probably averaging 30 or less. If I took the lay on, it would have only cost me like 40 quid, but hey ho, I took the focus, it cost me 65. So yeah, 65 pounds in fuel to get there, plus tickets, which were basically 40 pounds each, means it roughly cost me 140 pounds in fuel and tickets. So then we come across the food. So food for the weekend wasn't too expensive. The accommodation that we have, which I'll come to how much that cost in a second, had breakfast and sort of lunch things. So we had breakfast and lunch for the Sunday, but we still had to get food on the Saturday. So we, I think we bought burgers and stuff like that. And then while we're at Players, we also bought like a burger or some chi cheesy chips, those sort of things. So food was, and we had a Toby Carvery. So food was roughly about 30 pounds. So for the weekend, 30 pounds, not too bad. But I mean, you could have done it cheaper if you needed to, but you know, it cost 30 pounds. And the last thing we had to book was accommodation. So because we were staying, or because we were going to two shows that were reasonably close to each other, rather than traveling back and forth, back and forth, I decided to book accommodation. And the accommodation itself cost 88 pounds, which you could go cheaper. Like you could easily just probably get a, a flat or you could easily get a like a hotel or something like that. So like, that's like 40 pound a night. Um, but yeah. I got this little 88 pound. Yeah, that was the issue. So we were gonna take Maya because I thought dogs were allowed at both shows and they were allowed at players, but they weren't allowed at Castle Coombe, which I didn't know. So when I booked the accommodation, it had to be dog friendly. So I booked a dog friendly accommodation, which does have a bit of a premium on it because not many places want to let dogs stay because you know they can be messy, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so I booked this accommodation. Then I realized afterwards, because I'm an idiot, that Castle Coombe doesn't allow dogs but I'd already booked it, it was quite a nice place, so we were like, we'll keep it and we'll just have to sort Maya out. So yeah, the accommodation cost 88 pounds, 
and it came with like food and stuff like that it had it was basically a little outhouse i'll put a picture on the screen of what it sort of looked like it's very nice but yeah so 88 pound for accommodation now i'm going to run through all the costs together how much it costs and it just gives you a rough idea if you're thinking about going to a car show or going staying and doing two car shows roughly how much it might cost you yeah so after all of that added together so fuel food the tickets themselves accommodation maya. Yeah. maya it added up to 255 pounds which i actually didn't realize until i was working this out and i was like it's actually quite expensive <laughs> but yeah so it cost 255 pounds for all the tickets the fuel to get there which you could get a slightly more economical car but then at the same time a lot of people will have a less economical car so i thought 30 miles per gallon actually is quite a generic thing to go off you'll know that bit will either cost you slightly less or slightly more depending but yeah tickets themselves 37 pounds and then 40 uh, 20 pound a ticket so 40 pounds together if you have two people going food itself you know roughly 15 pound a day 10 pound a day 20 pound a day depends what your budget is and then accommodation you could get slightly cheaper because mine was 88 you could probably get something for 50 um if you're not traveling with a dog or another person <laughs> but yeah so that just gives you a quick rough idea of how much it would cost to go to two car shows or at least one car show you can obviously work it out um and sort of the yeah the behind the scenes cost that you don't really consider when actually going to a car show i mean obviously you consider food and fuel but sometimes you don't realize how much even that just costs but yeah so i hope this video helps someone out or helps you guys out just roughly planning or just thinking about going to the car shows especially if you're staying the weekend, what might be cost effective for you. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.